Hey guys, Drifter here. Welcome to Modern Warfare In-Depth. In today's episode, I want to talk about the new best weapon in the game, which I don't think is the M4A1 anymore. That may not be the best weapon in Modern Warfare, and we talked about this in the last patch notes video. Instead, I think the best weapon is the AK-47 with 5.45 x 39 millimeter ammo conversion kit on it. It is absolutely, definitely the new best weapon in the game for pubs, and maybe for competitive too. We're going to focus on a little bit on competitive first, but of course, we've got pubs coming up. This is the standard competitive M4A1 class. You're going to be running the Corvus barrel. You can also run Grenadier. They're pretty similar. And a compensator and a commando foregrip to help your recoil. An optical attachment and no stock so you can ADS faster and run a little faster and things like that, but it does hurt your recoil. And the class that I think is better than this for competitive matches is the new AK-47 with the ammo conversion on there, a compensator, an RPK barrel, a GI mini reflex, and no stock. So basically the same thing, except instead of the commando foregrip, you've got the ammo conversion. And the class that I know is downright amazing for public matches is this little AK-74U class. It, I put the uh, compensator and the ranger foregrip on it because the vertical recoil is atrocious. The short barrel and the no stock for fast handling and of course the ammo conversion kit. If you're a god and you can handle the recoil better than me, you could probably junk the ranger foregrip and go stippled or laser and make it really strong. But this is a top tier class. Like... I, the gameplay you've seen so far has been good, and I really want to emphasize that I am literally not even good at Call of Duty, but just take a look at a few of these highlights from my stream on Mixer of my very first game seriously using this class. God damn! Can somebody clip that? Somebody clip that. There's three ah, coming into Bravo. Please, keep clipping! <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> okay, God we'll bless, dude. This gun slaps so hard. Guys, tell me this doesn't slap. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna switch to it, just for a fun class. Oh, somebody clip that too, please. By the way, I do almost all of in-depth live, so if you want to follow me on Mixer, the link is down there below in the description. It's very simple. But let's take a look at the competitive M4 stats. This weapon has a time to kill of 222 milliseconds. It has a range of 35 meters for that same time to kill. The aim down sights time is 250 milliseconds and sprint out is 283. So overall, quite a good gun. The new competitive AK-47 stats are similar, but most notably the time to kill is 181 milliseconds, which is significantly faster than that of the M4. The range is slightly less, but almost identical. The aim down sights is significantly slower and the sprint out is identical. So for the competitive AK class, you effectively have the same range and sprint out time, but you have a faster time to kill inside that competitive range, although the aim down sights time is slower. So the quick summary on this is the AK-47 has a faster time to kill over almost the same range, and the M4A1 has a faster ADS time. So there's a little bit of give and take here, but I personally very strongly value that fast time to kill. The AK has a unique advantage in reload times as well. The M4A1 will reload in 1.3 seconds if it's got a bullet in the uh, chamber, and 1.41 if it's completely empty and you have to rechamber around. The AK-47 is faster on both of these, but most notably it is significantly faster if you still have a little bit of ammo left in the mag. It is a very fast swap, so you can reload quickly, which is nice. But, unfortunately, the recoil on the AK-47 class is not as good. You can see the side-to-side -side comparison here of the standard competitive M4 class versus the AK class that I've created, and you will definitely notice that the AK class has more recoil, so there's another downside to get that faster time to kill. In public matches, the AK-47 is a two-shot kill to the head over very, very absurd ranges, 
But in CDL rules, it has been nerfed to three shots to kill, because in CDL they changed all the multipliers on headshots for all the weapons to make them more how the pro players wanted them and a little bit less melty. And in the case of the AK-47 and this ammo conversion, it makes it a three-shot kill, which makes it slightly less competitive with the M4. If it could two-shot people off head glitches, I think everybody would use that. However, it does have a greater three-shot headshot range in comparison, so the M4A1 will kill in three shots to the head at 35 meters, which is oddly the same as four to the body, and the AK-47 can three-shot people to the head at 66 meters, which is basically sniper rifle range in Call of Duty. So when it comes right down to it, uh, the AK-47 takes another L in the competitive scene because of that headshot disadvantage or difference, I should say. It is a disadvantage. It'll kill them a little slower. But I think that the AK-47 with the 5.45x39 millimeter is definitely the best weapon to use in public matches right now. It is absolutely god tier. It has the fastest time to kill of, I think, any of the full auto assault rifles. It it's kills almost as fast as the MP5, like the three-shot wonder. It has incredible range. The recoil's not as bad, depending on how you kit it. This gun is a murder machine. It is extremely good. That time, there's, only, there's nothing in the game that you can buff more important than time to kill. You can take a gun that just has horrible recoil, but as long as it kills really quickly, there is a way to use it, I guarantee you, and that's kind of what happened with the AK here. When it comes to competitive, there's a little bit of give and take. However, I think that this AK ammo conversion could be viable in competitive as well. You have a faster time to kill and three shot kill across all regions of the body at identical ranges, so you just have an advantage in every single gunfight. The only places you don't have as an advantage is it does kick a little bit more. It's not crazy more, but it definitely does kick more and you have an advantage in headshots, but you have advantage in reloads, but you have a disadvantage in aim down sights time. And I think that's the number one thing that's gonna turn pros off, is the ADS time is definitely notable. So unless you're playing anchor, or you're not like gonna get up in people's faces and challenge them to like ADS quick scopey kind of matches with rifles, it'll win. But when it comes to that, I have to push and I have to snap aim hard, it fast, I should say, it won't be quite as effective. So guys, that is all for this shorter episode of In-Depth. I hope that you enjoyed it. I I hope that you learned something useful. If you did, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Drifter out.